every restaurant, every fast food place, you know, Burger King and McDonald's, they need to have an oil there. And they used to use hydrogenated oils, which whatever your opinion is of trans fats, those were stable. They hydrogenated them to make them stable. Now what do they have in there? They went back to just using regular old soybean oil, mainly soybean oil, which um, is highly unstable uh, and creates, it turns out, so it turns out, you know, it creates all these, these oxidation products, right? Those double bonds opening up. And they turn into molecules. Some of the molecules are like, like paint polymers, like shellac. The way they discovered this problem was they started using trans-free oils. And the restaurants were really uh, were discovering that their walls were getting covered up with this like shellac-like substance that was also clogging the drains of their fryers. And they couldn't scrape it off. Um, and they were, um, and so they were having these tremendous problems. And uh, even more horrifyingly, the workers' uniforms, um, when they would put them in the truck to take them to be cleaned, would spontaneously combust in the back <laughs> of, the car, of the cars because they had so many, they, these oxidation products are highly unstable. They're changing all the time. They're just like, they're highly volatile. So, and then they would put the rest of the uniforms in the dryers and the dryers would, would catch on fire. Um, so this was a rather big problem, um, which they, uh, they solved by basically, in, in the major restaurant chains like Burger King and McDonald's, um, they developed a bunch of things. They developed something called silicon beads that they stick in the, um, in the oil that absorbs some of the toxic oxidation products. They put what's called nitrogen blankets on top of the fryers in order to prevent them from escaping into the air. They developed a very a much more rigorous uh, cleaner, a more toxic cleaner that they use to clean everything with. Um, imagine those part-time McDonald's workers um, using that. And um, so, but they actually tried to develop a number of solutions, which made me realize that actually probably it's more they might actually be healthier than you know your mom and pop uh, local you know Chinese stir fry place where they fry everything in these oils and probably do not change them as religiously and do not have silicon beads and nitrogen blankets. 